guys, this is the LEGO Star Wars 2017 AT-ST. Uh, this set just came out last January. It is 449 pieces and it retails for $25. Still up for sale from LEGO. Uh, really cool AT-ST. Uh, I've had it for a little while, I've been meaning to review it. And just now getting to it, so I'm really sorry. But uh, this is kind of keeping in with the theme of the Rogue One uh, Star Wars story sets. And I really like this ATST. Like, it just looks so very well detailed. Like, you have these nice guns, you know, the front guns and the side cannons as well. But I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, just to give you an idea on just how well this one's detailed, I have with me the original. Or not like say the original, but the one from 2007, which was the second generation, I think. Uh, I don't have the one from Battle of Endor because I don't have that set, so I'm sorry about that. But just to give you an idea on how much detail this one has compared to this one, is uh, you can tell they've come a long ways. So, but yeah, onto the set. You get three minifigures. We'll start off with the two right here. You get a Rebel Trooper, which was the, uh, which I'm sure all of you've seen Rogue One by now. If you haven't, go see it. It's a pretty good movie. But anyway, you get this nice Rebel Trooper. He's got a uh, holding a thermal detonator. So nothing too real fancy about him. And then you get Bays. Which was one of the main heroes of Rogue One, which is pretty nice. You get this nice backpack, the chain gun, or whatever gun this was. I can't remember what the name of it was. And, uh, pretty cool. He's got a serious battle face, and then just a regular normal face. So, and then you get your third minifigure. It's in here. It's the ATST driver. You can open the hatch this way. You can see he's in there. Let me see if I can get him out this way. Uh. Now, the other thing I will get to is the set opens two different ways. But here is the TST driver. Pretty cool. He's got goggles that are painted on the helmet. It's a normal smiley face, and you have like kind of a serious battle face so pretty cool and then also close that for a second let me grab out of here the one 2007 I'll show you the difference there's not really much of a difference just a few uh, changes they made like for one you actually this one has eyes this one just has the goggles um, but the suit, you know, a little different, but not too much of a difference. But, you know, this one's obviously older. It was a newer one. So, starting off, you uh, have this opening hatch, which I don't really, that's the one thing I don't really like about the set. Is it's very small, and it's hard to get them out that way. So you have to lift the whole lid up. Which isn't a bad thing, like the Battle Endor had that too, and you also have a gun and a thermal detonator. I just gave him an extra one. So, and you also have some controls in there, which are pretty nice. Um, you have these side cannons, which are uh, pretty cool, and then you have like the main, which are different. And then you have the front cannon. And you also have some, like, the spring-loaded missiles. Um, I don't really know why, because I don't think... Well, I take it back. I think there is, like, a missile that's pushed out right here, but not in the front. So you just push these, and then... Which, they don't really go that far. Um, because... If you see there, there's a little piece that pushes it. Let me get it back in there. So yeah, it doesn't really shoot out as far. Not like the other ones. 
Uh -huh. Cool. And also, you can turn the head from the back knob, which is like the uh, old one. You just take it and then, you know, it's got those ratcheting gears. So, you know, it's got some detail on the feet. And you can make it walk at a little bit. There's just suspension up in the front. Nothing, you know, in between here to make it really move, but. You know, other than that, it's a really great set. I would definitely recommend you go out and pick this one up. Um, it's a good set. You know, pretty easy build. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for this review. And, oh, real quick. This one, I do have a review of this guy. If you want to see it, um, I'll, tr I'll see if I can put a link in the description. But, yeah, I definitely recommend this one. You know, this one's still new. I'd probably go ahead and get it before I sell pretty quick. So yeah, there's that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of me using my iPhone to uh, film videos. Uh, I know I did one. I did a little video a little while ago. And, uh, you know, I just wonder what you guys think of me using my iPhone. Because I like it a little bit better than my camera because the focus is so much easier to use. Than it is on the camera because it takes like a few seconds to focus in but yeah just let me know what you guys think and um if you want me to switch back i will but uh there's that for this i also have a few more videos coming out um i'm also planning on getting some more star wars sets because there's some new ones out that i really want to get so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys real soon